Now let's take a look at the other two functions present in a double-ended queue. There is delete front and delete rear. So this function only deletes from the queue so we don't need any input variables but we will have a return type. I'm keeping the return type as integer since the array in our queue was of integer type. Now the first thing we must see when we delete an element from a queue is whether the queue is empty. So we say that the queue is empty when front is equal to minus 1 and rear is equal to minus 1. In this case, there is no scope for deleting any element. We don't want to continue with our program, so we return from the function. Now, when we know that the queue is not empty, the next thing we must check is if we are deleting the very last element. So, if there is only one element left in the queue and we are deleting that element, then we make the queue in a state which is empty. By deleting the last element, we make the queue empty. If you can remember as we discussed previously, whenever we are making the queue empty and front goes above rear or front surpasses rear, we will want to reset the values of front and rear back to their original values, which is minus 1. Once again, this is done so that there is no wastage of space. So we need to check whether it is the last element we are deleting, or rather, we want to check whether there is only one element left in the queue and that is the element we are deleting. So the check to do for that is if front is equal to rear. So if you can see what we discussed previously and when you see the case where there is only one element, you will see that front and rear are both equal. So this means one element is left. In such a case, first we will store that element in a temporary variable. After that, we are going to reset front and rear to their original values, which is minus 1. And then we are going to return the temporary variable which stores our deleted item. Now we have dealt with the case of one element left. All the other cases are going to be the normal cases. So to delete from the front, we are going to increment front by 1. Before doing that, we will store the element at the front at a temporary variable. Then we increment front by 1 and then we return this temporary variable. This is how you write the code for deleting from the front of a double-ended queue. Now let's take a look at deleting from the rear of a double-ended queue.
once again the first thing we must check is whether the queue is empty. This is the check if the queue is empty. You could have given the same check as well. You could have given front is equal to equal to minus one. But they both return the same result. This is when the queue is empty. So when the queue is empty, we don't want to continue with our program. So we return from the function. The next thing we must check is whether there is only one element left. This is the same check as this. Now this is the same exact thing which I have done in delete rear as I have done in delete front. If there is only one element, then I'm going to store that element in a temporary variable temp1. I'm going to reset the front and rear back to minus one, and I'm going to return the temporary variable. Now for all other cases of delete rear, this is going to be the normal cases. So the first thing I will do is, I will store the value at rear in a temporary variable. Now I am going to decrement rear by 1. After having done this, I am going to return the temporary variable. There is one small change I would like to make. Now when we say the return type is int, we cannot give a blank return statement like this. We must return an integer. So I am going to return a dummy integer like minus 1. It will perform the same um, operation by returning from the function. But it's just that we cannot leave it blank because we have promised that we are going to return an integer. So we need to return some integer. So I'm going to return minus one as my dummy integer. So that's the only change. And uh, with that, we have seen how to delete from the front and delete from the rear in a double ended queue.